Hello, ghosts and ghouls. My name is Jack, and welcome to Horror Show Art. I'm a digital illustrator, mask, and effects artist specialising in all things horror. Today we have a rehaul with a twist. Some perfect light reading for a trip to the woods. It's my rehauled Trick or Treat Studios Evil Dead 2 Necronomicon. I'm always excited when I see Trick or Treat Studios release something new from the Evil Dead films. Uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we'll see some Evil Dead Rise pieces soon. Um, I've had this Necronomicon on my bookshelf for a couple of years now, and I think the overall quality is good, I think the sculpt is very good, and I think the art inside is actually spot on. But there were a few little tweaks that I wanted to make to bring it up to its full potential. My first job was bending and curving the spine. These books come off the assembly line uh, looking quite square, and the screen use book is very misshapen and sort of organic looking, so I wanted to get that spine rounded out. Uh, I then altered the binding so that the tabs covered the paper inside rather than the other way around. My next job was repainting the cover. Images of the screen use book are sort of few and far between and they aren't always very clear. Uh, so I gave it a general repaint where I used dry brushing technique to highlight the contours of the sculpt because I thought it was a shame that they weren't highlighted. After this, I started work on the pages. I began by scrunching each page multiple times to get that old and worn look. I then dry brushed over those pages in browns and blacks to sort of age them up a bit. And when that was done, I enhanced the already very accurate illustrations with a bloody mixture and added some dripping and spattering. The finished piece looks a lot more aged, worn and organic looking than the factory copy. And these were very, very simple fixes that I performed to get the book looking its best. I encourage others to do the same and reach out to me if you'd like me to work on your copy. As I make room for my new Necronomicon I'm working on that comes direct from the movie moulds, I'll bid farewell to this piece soon, and I'll offer it up on my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, then please do consider heading over there. I work on new and exciting pieces all the time, and I often share insights into the process, and I do enjoy the odd giveaway. Thank you so much for checking out this video. For more insights into the process, or to follow my work, or to buy a piece for yourself, please do follow me on my Instagram, and check out my other socials and my Etsy store while you're there. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, they're coming to get you, Barbara. Barbara.